Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a great um, week, week and hope you are going to have an even more amazing weekend. Thank you for joining me to another live stream. This live stream is going to be a quick one. You know, this morning, I just decided to um, quickly update you guys on some interesting news and developments as well as what I would invest in $500. So we're going to look at a very high risk, high reward portfolio this morning. Just five crypto projects, a hundred dollars in each one, and let's see if. And I really believe, you know, these projects have the potential to a hundred x your money, if not more. So, giving you the potential to turn five hundred dollars into over a hundred thousand dollars. If you're interested in that, then be sure to stick around for the whole video. Subscribe and share with um, many others so that they can benefit from this. So I'm going to quickly go through some comments. Rusmita, it's great to have you here. First as usual, Peter Stinhoa, I really appreciate you coming here. Hope I didn't spoil your name. And Lee Doviomi Saddam, good morning, everyone. I really appreciate you for joining me. Hope you had a great week, and I'm hoping you have an even more amazing weekend. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> $500 to $100,000. Is this possible with crypto? Certainly. I mean, there are stories of people turning $100 into millions of um, dollars. However, you just need to pay attention to the right projects and invest in them and, you know, be willing to hold it for the long term. So this $500 that we are going to deal with is a high risk, high reward play. And I've mixed up this portfolio a bit. I put some anchors in it. I put a couple of anchors in it. Now, why I call them anchors is these are projects that aren't as high risk as the others. So it's a little bit safe compared to the others, but the rest have a little bit more risk, but much more potential. These are all micro caps. They're, none of them are up to $2 million in market cap, or are they? Let's find out um, right now. But before that, real quick, let's just look at one of the top gainers this morning. And that's um, Quant. Now, Quant is a project that I keep seeing is always a steal whenever it's less than a hundred dollars, and I'm I still stand by it. Why? Because it's real simple. Quant is a technology that people should invest in because it solves a lot of problems. It's a good blockchain um, technology that even banks are going to find relevant. And the news that is causing Quant to rally right now, you know, foundation of blockchain economy is. It's partnership with um, Rose, what, what they call it, um, Rosaline. So quants, quants pumping right now, you know, quants going up right now over um, 10% compared to other high caps is, is very, very understandable because they are partnering with a Bank of England in order to issue CBDCs. Even though this is not really in line with crypto and decentralization, we can't ignore the fact that Quant is a very solid, fundamentally solid, high cap crypto. So, for those of you who are more interested in um, solid plays, for those of you more interested in, for those of you more interested in the um, high caps that don't want to take much risk, I, I don't think you can go wrong with Quant. I think it has a lot of bullish momentum, especially for the next bull run. If you think about how this project has a lower, <clears throat> a lower circulating supply than Bitcoin and it's less than, it, it goes less than $100, you would understand why I like accumulating it. I honestly believe that a single coin token can easily reach, you know, can easily reach over $5,000. $1,000, I have no doubt about it in the next bull run, but $5,000 to $10,000, yeah, that's, that, those are my price, um, range of price targets for the next bull run with quants so we're going to now move on to my um portfolio the high risk high reward portfolio and the first <clears throat> i want to reiterate the nature of this portfolio for those of you who are just coming now the aim of this video is to pick five crypto projects high risk high reward you know don't forget the fact that there's high risk with them and try and turn this into over a hundred thousand dollars. How do I? How how can this be achieved? Now, these are projects that can that have good elements of um, hype and utility, a good balance. The hype means there's constant development, there's constant updates, and there's good amount of activity with the community as well as with the use cases for the project. So 
people will keep seeing the projects. The projects will keep garnering attention from influencers, from YouTubers, from the announcements of partnerships, in addition to the use cases. These are also projects that are within narratives that, you know, they can easily latch onto a narrative and kick off from there, in addition to having a low market cap. So based on this, the first project that I'm adding to my um, 100x portfolio is Broccoli Network. Now, I think Broccoli Network is quite undervalued right now. It's sitting at a market cap of $600,000. And 100x from this point is how much? It's about $60 million. $60 million, if you've witnessed a bull run, if you've been in the crypto space for quite a while now, you would know that a $60 million market cap is quite easy for a lot of projects, projects that don't even have fundamentals in the bull run. This is a project that has a lot of fundamental. And in addition to that, it's a project that there's no doubt, in my mind anyway, is going to garner some form of attention in the bull run. What kind of attention would this gain? In the bull run, one of the biggest challenges with crypto in the bull run is environmental um, issues. There's always talks about how, oh, crypto is not environmentally friendly, crypto cannot be adopted. And, you know, we had Elon Musk accepting Bitcoin and then refusing to accept Bitcoin because Bitcoin was bad for the environment. So if you Google NFTs, people start saying ah, NFTs are bad for the environment. Why would I destroy the environment just to produce one monkey pig? So there's always a lot of talk. There's always a lot of talk about how crypto cannot be adopted because of its environmental factor. If we are going to have cryptocurrencies be adopted for the long term, if we're going to have crypto expand beyond just you know, amongst ourselves, then there's a need to address energy concern. And Broccoli Network is doing a good job with that because not only does it allow you to enjoy DeFi activities, you know, staking, swapping, and all of that, it has API implementations that allows people to contribute positively to um, carbon impact. And I think that's very good. You can find um, Broccoli on PancakeSwap, Gate.io, Mexi. And I think that's very impressive um, amount of accessibility for a project sitting at $600,000 in market cap. So what Broccoli aims to do is it aims to offset um, carbon, carbon impacts, negative carbon impacts by providing tools, you know, APIs that other platforms can use, simple implementation. And then that's it. You just know that, oh, as I'm using this product, as I'm using this um this platform, I'm contributing positively. So it's positive impact on the environment. Not only is it carbon neutral by itself, it also helps other projects achieve that. And I think that's very good for a project like this. I think that gives it a lot of use cases. I like projects that add utility mm -hmm. to other projects within the space. So trading crypto with positive climate action is a big deal in my opinion. Over 5,000 trees um, planted. And, you know, there are several ways that they do this. They don't just plant trees. There's also recycling. There's research. There's education. <clears throat> Lots of interesting ways that they are able to accomplish this. And this is a project that is sitting, like I said, is sitting at $600,000 in the market cap. So definitely a low cap gem, in my opinion, that can 100x. So, you know, like I said, these five projects, I'm sharing five projects in today's live stream for my high risk, high reward. I'm just going to put $100 in each of them. And bear in mind, this is something that I'm willing to lose. The point of high risk, high reward is, you are willing to lose everything. You are willing to, you know, it's all or nothing at this point. So $500, I'm just putting $100 into each of them. I can, I can decide, oh, I'm putting $100 in broccoli for the next bull run, and I'll put $100 in each of them and just forget about it. I think that mentality is extremely important in the crypto space because it allows you to hold for the long term. So broccoli is my first pick for today's video definitely one that you should pay attention to not only do you contribute i like the fact that they also make um they also make this carbon neutrality decentralized you know wh when there are energy talks most of the time the decisions are made by the world economic forum the wef and these people are not in positions of they are not in a position of good understanding they're not in a layman position the fact that they have to take 
private jets, limos, and you know, expensive vehicles emit a whole bunch of carbon that a normal person would emit in a year. And then come come to tell people not to burn coal is a bit hypocritical. So, blockchain network also gives decentralization because people use holding the token get to vote on how exactly they want um, their carbon credits to be spent, whether it should be for planting trees or whether it should be for educating people or whether it should be for recycling. I like the, those use cases for um, blockchain network. We're going to move on to the next project now. This is going to be a short live stream. And another low cap um, gem that I think is it has a lot of potential, you know, especially for the long term, is Genomes DAO. Now, Genomes DAO, the reason why I'm picking Genomes DAO is, like I said, even if I'm picking a high risk, even if I'm creating a high risk, high reward portfolio, there's there's a need for a balance. I, I told you I'm going to include a couple of anchors into this portfolio. And I think Genomes DAO is one of those anchors, is one of the projects that is, you know, is not just, it's not a simple, straightforward project. It's, it's, it's a bit, it's got solid, more solid fundamentals in that there's less risk compared to some of the other projects I'll cover in today's live stream. So Genomes DAO is one of the, um, anchors in the portfolio here, in my opinion. And I think this project definitely has a lot of long-term potential. Why? If you think about it, what we have in the Web2 space when it comes to genomic sequencing is far from perfect. In fact, it's the opposite of that. There's a lot of malpractice and issues going on right now with genomic sequencing in the Web2 space. And Genomes DAO is solving that problem. So a Web3 solution to a major Web2 problem, I have no doubt in my mind that it would go um, very well. Genomes DAO is, you know, yeah, powering scientific research while earning from it in the process through providing, you know, access to your votes for genomic data. Now, pay attention to who this project is for. Look at the people that can find this project relevant. You can see it on their site here patient organizations, population sequencing initiatives, healthcare providers, even governments, biobanks, DNA testing companies, pharmaceuticals, academia, research institutes, biotechnology, just a lot of people that find this genomic sequencing data highly valuable. Now, in the Web2 space, the problem with it is they know whose data they are collecting. Take, for example, governments, if the government meets um, the biggest Web2 um, genomic sequencing company on the Web2 space. They, they know whose data they are collecting and they can have information about a population or a town. But with a project like Genomes DAO, not only do you have full control, but you remain anonymous. And I think that anonymity is extremely important for sensitive data like this. And that's, that's what I see, um, you know, as a great long-term potential for this kind of project. I think Genomes DAO is definitely undervalued in that regards. And another thing that I think makes it undervalued is genomic data, genomic sequencing is evaluated to be worth over $100 billion, um, dollars, the company itself. So we are dealing with a billion, multi-billion dollar industry. And we are sitting at a market cap of what, $1.3 million. So very interesting project a low cap gem in my opinion and definitely one that you know you should be paying close attention to for the next bull run right now you can find it on camelot so the arbitrum exchange i mean if you are bullish on arbitrum and its ecosystem genomes DAO is um ticking that box for you but a more easily accessible um, option is sushi swap using the polygon blockchain so genomes DAO definitely another low cap low cap gem in my opinion pay attention to is yeah another exchange that sorry my phone another exchange that you should pay attention to on genomes DAO is um mexi mexi global they they made that announcement let me share that a recent announcement that they just uh, made like two days ago which is very impressive shows how active the team is and that's Mexi Global. So this is a project that at $1.3 million in market cap, they are quickly updating, they are quickly releasing announcements. And the sex listing is a good thing, means that they are following their roadmap. So, so, many, so much update. I'm looking for the announcement. Yeah, 
Mexi Global. So it hasn't been updated yet on um, CoinGecko yet, but Genomes that recently got listed on Mexi on the Mexi official exchange, and that's a very good thing to see. What this means is this is a project that is actively, um, you know, making partnerships, making announcements, and they are following their roadmap. They are actually meeting these goals and targets. Pay very close attention to that. Projects that are continuously updating and developing and meeting up with their roadmap. Definitely a good sign to see in a low-carb gem. So, guys, really, don't sleep on Genomes now. 100x from this point is $100 million. Let me remind you again that genomic sequencing organizations are worth multi-billion dollars in, um, in evaluation. So, the fact that this is a $1, $1 million uh, market cap project for what it's doing, I think it can easily achieve that price point. So that, those are the first two projects, Broccoli Network, Genomes DAO. We're going to move on to the next one now. Let me quickly address um, some comments here. Like I, as usual, Rusmita, is great to see you. Beats DP, one of my biggest supporters since I was sub 1K subscribers. I really appreciate you. Qu um, yeah, I'm bullish on Rusmita. Hello, my friend from Somali, Omar Madi. It's nice to have you here. I really appreciate you, my friend. And um, STEAQ um, Prod, I appreciate all, all of you for joining me here this morning. The next project on my list today is FabWorld. Now, FabWorld is sitting at a market cap of $990,000, so approximately um, approximately a million dollars in market cap. One of the reasons why I added FabWorld is I, I was in the last bull run, I was in so many projects that you know, I got in at around $20 million in market cap. And these projects went on to $100 million, $500 million, And those were the pri price range. $200 million, um, $200 million in market cap was like an easy first target. $100 million. Everyone was talking about going to a billion dollars. And those are market caps that if these projects were to achieve them now, they give you 100 times your money. So imagine putting... Five hundred or a thousand dollars in Fabworld, and then it goes to two hundred million dollars in market cap. You've turned a thousand dollars to two hundred thousand dollars. It's very difficult for you to see that now, because we are in a bear market, and you know people are scared, people are worried about their money. But that's the point of a high risk, high reward portfolio. You are investing early now. Now that everybody's scared of buying, now that everybody's scared of you know, investing in any crypto projects because, you know, you are scared of how, whether or not your investments will make it, will make it true. And that's the point of being early in crypto, in crypto projects. This is a project that is sitting at less than a million dollars. And I'm going to explain to you, you know, why I think this project can reach a hundred million. It can reach more than a hundred million, but you should understand that in crypto, you have to get in early before everyone else, before, you know, there's much hype around the project. So, Fabworld, the reason why I'm picking Fabworld, the reason why I think Fabworld can reach um, a, uh, over 100 million is, first of all, we have to look at the nature of this project, the niche that is in. And it's in the gaming and metaverse niche. This is, a, this is an area of crypto that I can argue would always do well. Because of just because that's just the nature of crypto. That's just how people are in the space. People just want to have fun. People want to game. People love the community aspect of it. And the hard part is just making sure that you're picking the right project. There are so many gaming projects out there. There are so many bad ones out there. But Fabelt is not among those bad ones. Fabelt is actually a good project that I think will do well for the long term, a project that is actually developing. This is a project with 45% in circulation. And if you check their website, there are so many aspects about it that makes me bullish on this project as a gaming project by itself. So like I said, GameFi, Metaverse, that's already a bullish narrative by itself. But if you look at Farbot as a case study, um, good tokenomics, active team, 
good gameplay variety there's a lot of reasons why you would see that this is a great project with a lot of long-term potential so the first reason why i think fabo to go well will do well is the fact that they've added cross-chain gaming capabilities pay attention to projects that have interoperability with them the reason why i say you should pay attention to projects that have interoperability is there are so many layer ones out there and the the future of the blockchain is going to be multi-chain so if a project completely restricts itself to just binance or to just avalanche or ethereum they, they are limiting their full potential there's a lot of markets that they won't be able to tap into so the fact that um Fabot is able to tap into binance ecosystem and polygon ecosystem and they are ex they are planning to expand is a very good thing for the projects it means you know people can use their preferred blockchain and enjoy that project. So I really like that aspect to it. I like the community, the constant updates with Fabo. So I'm going to take a quick look at um, their Twitter as well. You see that they are constantly organizing events, tournaments, new gameplay modes. And this project right now, what you're seeing here on this screen, looks way better than when I first found it. What does that mean? That means that is not a stagnant project. It means that they're actually updating, they're actually developing, they're adding new features, new gameplay components, new gameplay elements. Pay attention to this kind of project because once the bull run comes, people are going to be like, oh, this is a good game that has a good track record. They've been around in the beer markets and you know we are looking for a good gaming project that can actually 100x our money and that's going to be at 10 million dollars in market cap people are going to be talking about these projects reaching a billion so pay attention to projects that are building now not projects that will pop on that will pop up during the bull run and i think forward is a good example of that i like their partnerships i like the announcements i like the fact that they are focused on gaming and another extremely important part is variety forward is not just a single game even though their most popular game is arsenal there are other aspects of it what that means is there's going to be if if you, first person shooter is not your thing like you oh it's fun you enjoy it even if you enjoy it and what if it gets bored what if you like to try another type of game well there are options and i think that's extremely important when it comes to gaming in the crypto space you don't just want to be stuck with one game because no matter how great the game is you know like Sekiro, for example i'm a big fan of that after a while you you decide let me try out other games you know it's just human nature and fabot is addressing that they still bring all of the features and implementations that you love about it as a gaming project it's tokenomics and all of that into other gaming aspects so that is extremely important there's fan wells there's H2O and, you know, regular updates and developments with this project makes me bullish on it for the long term. So that's my third pick in today's, sorry, <laughs> that's my third pick in today's live stream. I really think Fabot has a lot of long term potential, especially for the next bull run. It's nature, the gaming space and all of that. So web two, um, a, a great web two, web three gaming. The next project is one that partnered with Fabot. And um, no, no, let me not call that yet. I'm going to move on to another one. And that's um, Lanceria. Now, Lanceria is a high risk, high reward play. And the reason why I'm bullish on Lanceria is this is a project that right now is at $300,000 in market cap, very, very low in market cap. A, 100x from this point is 30 million dollars in market cap if you are listening to all what i've been saying all, all of my rants about far and how easy it is for projects to reach 100 million dollars in the bull run 100 million dollars from this point is about 300x 300x is absolutely mind-blowing and this project is one that i believe can achieve that because one of the biggest things I like about this project is its announcements and its partnerships. This is a freelance project, and freelance by itself, I believe, has much more value. Like Genomes DAO, this is something that is solving a Web2 problem because using Web3 solutions. And the Web3 solution that we have with Lanceria 
far outweighs what we have in the web two space. Imagine paying twenty percent of your hard end of your hard work. Imagine paying twenty percent of your sweat to a platform. Lancera solves that problem. Lancera is tapping into a multi billion dollar industry as well, the freelance industry. Over one billion people that are working online. So this is a project that is tapping within that niche, and it, they also have good announcements and partnerships. Recently, they made um, a partnership, an announcement with Altura to, for their Metaverse um, implementation, and I think that's quite interesting. They also have APIs with um, Chainlink, partnered with IBM. You know, very, very solid projects with um, solid um, fundamentals and developments. This is a project with over 70% in circulation as well, 76% in circulation. So definitely one that I think has a very interesting use case. Using the metaverse for freelancing is unique. It's, it sets it apart from Hive, and this can be a double-edged sword. So the high risk from Lanceria comes from the fact that they are approaching this freelance, this freelance narrative from a new um perspective they are using a new approach and that's using the metaverse now imagine a portfolio where you can um imagine a portfolio where you put your works in an nft and you interact with your clients using an nft that metaverse and stuff like that so i like that unique place it's it might kick off it might not kick off but thinking about crypto thinking about the nature of crypto there's a very strong demand there's a very strong interest about nfts and um there's very strong interest about nfts and the metaverse with crypto it's just the nature of crypto so lanceria implementing that in his freelance um for his freelance aspects is quite interesting another thing that i always encourage people to do even though they don't like doing it is to read the white paper and lanceria's white paper if you read this you'd see why on other reasons why i'm bullish on this project over 1.7 billion people have work access denied and that's that's a big problem that Lancera is solving, you know, breaking down those barriers. For example, I myself, my personal experience, I've said it several times on this channel, my experience with crypto came about through freelancing. The banks were closed. It was on a Saturday and I needed to get paid. The person suggested, why don't I pay you with Bitcoin? And the person sent me $100. I got $100 complete payments on a weekend and um Opoc didn't take $20 out of it. It was mind-blowing. It was instant payment through through the blockchain. And I, I, I fell in love with crypto um back then. So Lancera being able to tap in, being able to expand on that, being able to solve that problem, letting people know, oh, there's this freelance platform that you can actually start using and you get a hundred percent of your payments. There's no need to worry about um, banks not opening on weekends and stuff like that. Makes me bullish on that idea. Good trans, good transparency, and good good matchmaking. They have kits to help um, both the freelancers and the professionals, and a dedicated metaverse as well. So that explains, in my opinion, their partnerships with Altura. So a a small a small team that is making big moves that is making big announcements makes me bullish on lanceria and at a market cap of three hundred thousand dollars yeah it's definitely worth putting some cash in and holding um for the long term so lanceria has is is going to be my fourth pick for today's sorry i keep having hiccups lanceria is going to be my fourth pick for today's live stream i think that's um that's a very undervalued low cap gem in my opinion and we're going to move on to the final to my final pick for today's video and i'm going to say um my final pick for today's video is hold on hold on a moment oh okay. yeah it's here my final pick for today's video is xp network now xp network is not high risk in my opinion this is no financial advice by the way i'm just seeing how i would on um, $500 to over $100,000. So XP Network is not high risk in my opinion. This is a project that is literally a blue chip in the making, in my opinion anyway. And I decided to add it to my high risk portfolio because it's just my nature. I believe 
it should not go 100% in one direction. It's good to have some kind of um, anchor. So um, XP Network is the second anchor in my um, portfolio today. You know, Genomes DAO is not as high risk as Lanceria or it's not as high risk as Broccoli. Same with XP Network. XP Network is also a very solid project. And the, if you should not just take my word for it. The reason why I like XP Network, I always tell people, simply just go to their Twitter handle and you'll see why I'm bullish on this project. Think, thinking, this project right here, thinking, Skytopia, um, what what else would you see here? You'd see you'd see some more projects. You, you'd see this huge ecosystem. Yeah, votes. There are so many projects. And what's the most interesting part about it? Why do I say you should check that Twitter? All of these projects partnering with XP Network. All of these projects using XP Network. They are all on different blockchains. What does this mean? This means that. XP Network is a blockchain agnostic tool. Many NFT projects in crypto will use XP Network in order to be able to have cross-chain capabilities. So XP Network is an extremely powerful tool that has partnerships, strong partnerships with NFT projects, strong integrations with NFT projects all over the space and strong partnerships with different blockchain. A powerful NFT bridge connecting over 20 um, Ethereum virtual machines and non EVM blockchains going multi chain effortlessly. Now, if you're paying attention to when I was talking about um, Farbelt, I said one of my favorite aspects of Farbelt is, is cross chain gaming. And it's actually very interesting. Farbelt was able to accomplish its cross chain capability using XP network. So, what does that tell you? This is a project that many other projects in crypto will use to accomplish more efficient, um, to be more efficient, to accomplish cross-chain capabilities. Makes me super bullish on XP Network. And I think, you know, you just need to set your time frame. You just need to have a good mindset. This is what you call a low-cap gem. 57% in circulation, $2 million in market cap. To get to 100x from this point is 200 million. We have Shibashi, we have um, Doge Dash. Doge Dash reached over five hundred million dollars in market cap. What does Doge Dash do? It's a simple game like Temple Run. You're just clicking and making a dog jump. Hey, fun time! This is a project with strong utility, and it's sitting at two million to get to five hundred million dollars in market cap. That's what over two hundred and fifty x from this point. So just think about it. Do the math yourself and understand why I'm bullish on XP Network. This is a great low-cap gem, a great blockchain tool that, ha that allows a lot of you know, NFC projects in the space to have functionality. And mind you, this is a project that I called over on my Patreon when it was still about a million dollars in market cap. So that, that's just you know to give you an idea of the simplest nice I have looking for these projects. Avalanche, Ethereum, Polygon, Tron, Algorand, Tezos, IOTA, just chock full of utility, sitting at 2 million. Many people are just not patient in crypto. They're just, you know, looking for quick, quick um, gratification like they see with meme coins. But if you're not just looking for quick gratification, if you are looking for projects that actually have put in a lot of intense research that have solid fundamentals and good long-term potential projects like XP Network, projects like Mask Browser. If you want to make gains, you know, for the next bull run and you really want to retire, then I don't think you can go wrong with joining my Patreon because over on the Patreon, we've called a lot of great call, um, gems. You know, we've made a lot of gains in the short term and we've also taken profits and held our bags on for the coming bull run because I'm not going to deny it. Many people would like to have moon bags. At the same time, they want to reinvest that capital. One of the biggest secrets in crypto is being able to invest in as many projects as you can, but you can't do that if you don't have 
unlimited funds. So one of the best strategies is to when you have um, like a three or a five, ten X on a project and you're able to take your initial investment and go reinvest in other projects, then you're fine. For all of my patrons, they got in very early on XP Network. It's did over a four X. They were able to take out some of their initial and invest in other projects. And I think that strategy is extremely important. So it's not just short term. There's a lot of long term thinking and a lot of long term benefits with joining the patron. If you really want to join, if you really want to make, you know, organize your portfolio and make the right gains for the next bull run, then there are two ways of joining. You either become a channel member. By the way, I have a channel members. You can support me with super chats, joining the membership, or um, message me on Telegram to see some crypto payments options. So yeah, out um, X minutes. So let's do a quick recap. The first pick for my five hundred to a hundred thousand dollars is Broccoli Network. Why did I why did I pick Broccoli Network? Well, it's easy. In the bull run, there's going to be a lot of traffic. There's going to be a lot of mining. And people are going to start saying crypto is not friendly to the environment. That would lead to projects like Nano and, you know, um, Algorand, HBAR pumping because they're going to come up and start saying, oh, look at us, we're carbon friendly. Broccoli Network is a blockchain tool that helps many other projects on different ecosystems achieve, um, achieve carbon neutrality. So I'm bullish on um, Broccoli Network sitting at 600K in market cap. I believe it has a lot of long-term potential. That's the first pick. Second pick is Genomes DAO. That's one of the anchors I'm putting in this project. It's not as exciting as gaming or metaverse, but it's solid fundamentals. Tackling a multi-billion dollar problem, data leaks and, you know, expensive genome sequencing kits. This is a great Web3 solution to a Web2 problem. And it's also at a market cap that is less than $2 million, $1.3 million in market cap. Strong fundamentals, good announcements recently. They are now on Exchange. That's good to see. Hardworking team, and I'm bullish on genomes out. And speaking of web three solutions to web three web two problem, the third project is um Lanceria. Um, that's within the freelance niche. Lanceria right now is has seen better days. I mean, a lot of projects have seen better days. Is is quite is taking a beating on seven days. Today is actually quite high. It's up twenty seven percent. Is a project um that I've invested in and I'm holding for the long term is a project that my patrons were able to also get in at a very low market cap. Just a quick shout out and a quick plug in, shameless plug. But yeah, it's one that I don't mind putting a few couple of hundred dollars in and holding for the next bull run. They're going to, um, they've, the main net is on the horizon, Q3 2023. So with their constant announcements, updates, I think it's going is is not that far away, and I think that's going to give this project a lot of bullish up up um, upwards momentum. That's the third project. The fourth project that I think is an easy hundred x as well is Fabot. Why the nature of crypto and gaming? Crypto gaming is just ah everybody knows hundred million quite easy two hundred million yes, but. Fabot is not just a simple everyday gaming project. They do a lot of things right. If you're going to pick a gaming project, pick a good one. Pick a good one like Fabot. Pick a good one like Defina Finance. Both of them are sitting at a million dollars in market cap. And I think, you know, getting to a hundred million, let's just say it gets to 50 million. That's a 50x your money. Quite easy in my opinion. Fabot is a good looking um, low cap gem. In my opinion, they have a very good looking game. This is their star game, um, us now. And yeah, I don't blame them for really liking this and putting a lot of effort. It's not easy to have good gameplay like this on the Web3 space. The fifth one and the final one that I think you should go ahead. No financial advice, but seriously, if you are serious about making money in crypto, why are you not buying XP Network? Why don't you have XP Network? It's just a no brainer. Just go over to their Twitter, go over to their website. You'd see the CEO of Polygon, the CEO of um, Avalanche. You know, different different blockchains are actually utilizing it. These are testimonials from DApps, Definity, Mars Wars, Super Bears, Last Metal, 
so many dApps are using them. Now let's go over to blockchains. These are testimonials from blockchain developers themselves. The CEO of Tron. Oh, we love Explanator. It allowed us to achieve um, cross-chain capabilities. Polygon, Multiverse, Tezos. So why are you not into a project that is going to take advantage of everything in crypto? The only challenge, the only downside with Explanator, because I'm going to be real with you, not everything is 100% perfect, is NFTs. NFTs might be big. NFTs might not be big. So that's the only risk they're taking. It's niche down to just the NFT sector. So if NFTs are going to be, if you believe crypto won't do without NFT, and personally I'm of that belief, I believe NFTs are going to be in crypto long term, then you can't go wrong with XP Network. I think XP Network is definitely going to be a great long term, um, a great gem to hold for the long term with a lot of, um, you know, with a lot of use cases, with a lot of utility. And speaking of blockchain tool that gives NFTs functionality, I'm going to share with you another um, gem that I sh- that I called over on my Patreon. You would know, you would know, you should might have heard about it. It's way up, you know, um, and that's charged particles. Now, this is a project that also has a lot of. I'm deviating from the topic of the video, but I just feel like I should share this project with you as well. Charge Particles is also a great um, NFT crypto project. It's also a great blockchain tool. There are many NFT projects in crypto. Just think about it as XP Network, but instead of providing a bridge for um, cross-chain bridging between different platforms, Charge Particles isn't a bridge. Charge Particles just says your NFT can be more than just an NFC. We can give it sticking functionality. We can give it inbuilt um, NFCs within NFCs. Think about it as a music album, for example. One NFT with different NFT musics inside it and different NFT ads inside it. That's just a simple example. Think about an NFT holding other NFTs that can achieve sticking rewards and stuff like that. So I like the fact that Charge Particles makes the NFT narrative more than just something that is stagnant. It gives it a lot of nuance and versatility as well. So, yeah, Charge Particles, pay attention to that as well. Um, Gary, I really appreciate you. I appreciate um, you coming on my live stream today. And fun fact, ridiculous fun fact, Gary is one of the, um, is the, how would I say, the popularity of the name Gary is getting low because of um, Gary Gensler. <laughs> So don't mind me. I just like to have fun at times. Rosmita, uh, yeah, I appreciate you for coming. And yeah, I think I'll end it here. Todd Mighty, um, I really appreciate you for coming. It feels bad at the moment. Thinking a lot gets in, a lot in, thinking a lot in, get out of crypto and get in stock markets. Yeah, I, I guess, you know, a lot of people in crypto right now, I think they are the ones that are in the best position. We are the lucky, we are the lucky few because once the bull run starts, people are going to be looking for a good project. But you guys are seeing the good projects now. The ones that are coming in to crypto when there's a bull run, they are going to end up falling for hype. They are going to end up falling for rug pulls, projects that are just popping up. But if you are finding the projects right now and getting in early on them, then I think you are good. So this is the time to be um in crypto xpnet so far is the most legit project and every project that has potential to be 10 billion dollars market cap no cap yeah serious at two million dollars in market cap if xpnet gets to 500 million that's over 250x from this point i'm bullish on xpnet and i'm holding it long term so my friend smart man i really appreciate you lee and i think i'll stop there for today unless there's any other thing to cover i appreciate you guys be sure to have a fun weekend. You know, crypto shouldn't be all about um, looking at the charts 247. And I appreciate you guys very much for coming. Farwell didn't dump. Yes, solid. What's holding for the long time? Also, check out Defina Finance. I'm bullish on that as well. Stay safe and take care, guys. I love you. <laughs>